I kept hearing EXP, kept hearing EXP. I'm like, no, 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 we're fine. We're doing great, right? I don't want to make a change. And then finally, I sat down and said, you know what? It's uh, I got to take my ego, my emotion out of it and say, this is business. This is my future. Is this right for me, my family, and my agents who are on my team? I, uh, I, well, I want you to just talk to everyone out there and, and share your journey um, you know, through your real estate career because it, it, it's, a, it's a journey that so many people can relate to for certain. Oh, sure. Well, thanks for the introduction. I really appreciate it. And it has been a journey. And hopefully you all saw, like any good realtor, my picture is 10 years old. I love it. <laughs> you know, I'm just doing what's right in our industry, right? I can't update it. Um, but yeah, so... Um, I'm super excited to be here and 7,000 people. That's going to be an amazing event next week. I can't wait to get that launched and speak there as well. It's going to be really exciting. And you hit on a lot of great points. I mean, there's a lot of reasons why um, this is my forever home, right? And we all would like that. I also think that uh, every good realtor is a good realtor, regardless of where they are. This just solidifies your future as a better realtor being over here so far. So I'm really excited I did make the move. And before that, I mean, I got my real estate degree um, and um, jumped right in. I mean, I jumped into a small boutique firm here in Dallas, Texas, one of the largest ones called Ebby Halliday. It's a great company, um, but they didn't have a commercial division either. I tried residential for two months. I, I wasn't, uh, it wasn't, wasn't for me. Um, when someone says I can't walk into the house because of blue carpet, and blue wallpaper because I get a headache. I was like, I can't. That's it. I'm out. So I jumped in. I went back into commercial real estate um, in 2017 or 2007. I'm sorry. Um, I knew uh, KW was launching a commercial division, and I always liked joining a company that was residential facing because I knew I could get a lot of referrals. Right. Um, There's so many people cold calling, and I was. I watched it at Marks and Millichap and I saw the aggressiveness and the burnout rate of people cold calling that wasn't really exciting to me. And so I much preferred the interrelationship within the company. How can I help you and your clients? You keep the client, I'm going to help you. Um, so that's why I joined a residential facing company and I loved, had a great experience at KW, was there 10 years. Um, our last year there, we did 90, like 92 million in volume. We paid back to the agents, I think like 180 or 200,000 in referral money. That's amazing, right? But then I kept hearing EXP, kept hearing EXP. I'm like, no, 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 we're fine. We're doing great, right? I don't want to make a change. And then finally, I sat down and said, you know what? It's uh, I got to take my ego, and my emotion out of it and say, this is business. This is my future. Is this right for me, my family and my agents who are on my team? And when you really dig in, it's a no brainer. There's, there's, especially now that we've launched the commercial division, because before um, it was a fantastic and is a fantastic company, regardless of you doing residential or commercial. But now that we have this division, if you're a single agent or a team agent growing a team, first growing a team, you, you know, when pain hits, it can be painful, right? Yeah. It's a lot of liability, a lot of stress when things aren't going uh, the way they want, you want them to go. When everything's great, everything's great. But when they're not, it is a whooping. Um, but <laughs> if you look at this model, the structure, the cost and the wins for a single agent or a team, it's a no brainer, right? Especially if you have the entrepreneurial mindset. I mean, if you want to be, if you're more of an employee mindset, that's just a different, that's a different conversation we would need to have to figure out why that is and what struggles you may have on the coaching mentoring side to help overcome that. So you can actually be your own boss, launch your own career, because one of the beautiful things about companies like EXP and EXP Commercial is the company is fantastic with foundation, education, and support. One thing they're great at, though, is not telling you how your business needs to look. That's one of the amazing things. If you want to make $100,000 a year, that's awesome. If you want to make $2 million a year, that's great. How can we help support you? How can we help get you there faster? Use our network, our resources I mean, we have 51 and some change or 52,000 agents now. And one thing all the other companies didn't have was the ability to communicate with the entire company within 30 seconds. Right. To me, that, that's such a no brainer. And it's such a simple, amazing thing about workplace is we can log into workplace and I can reach out to 
anybody in the company within 30 seconds and say, I have a need, I can help you, what can I do? That's amazing. You know, Robert, and that's so exciting, right? With coming, because in commercial real estate, we're all siloed or positioned or, you, you, you know, you brought Marcus and other, they tell you what product type, they tell you what to do, right? But here, like you said, entrepreneurial and you choose what you want to do, right? So I love that when you're bringing up the entrepreneurial and especially with everyone you coach and teach and mentor, right? They're all these different paths and everyone wants to yeah. grow different ways. If you can kind of talk about all, you know, your experiences about mentoring, training, growing all these agents and, and why EXP also when they, when you're coaching, some of them were in EXP and I know they came over because you train, coached and they learn from you. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the biggest thing when coaching someone is to ask good questions and then push them to get into action. I mean, the only difference between an okay agent and a mega agent is they get into massive action. They get into doing the activities necessary to go to that next level. They don't make excuses. You That's can be right. the victim or the victor, right? Yep. Which one are you choosing? <laughs>